E aí, pessoal, tudo bem? Como é que vocês estão? Deixa eu ajeitar aqui o... Ah, tá legal, tá bem claro, mas tá bom. É... Tá bem claro, mas tá legal. É... Oh, maybe... Can we try to sit there? Maybe it's even better. Yes. Because the light... Oh, yeah, that is much better, you see? Huh. Way better. Perfect. Ok. E aí, pessoal, tudo bem? Estou aqui ao vivo no Japão, em Tóquio. Estou aqui com meu amigo René, também da Suíça. Say hello, René. Hello, YouTube. Yes. And, e aí a gente vai falar um pouquinho em português e um pouquinho em inglês. E a gente vai misturando e batendo um papo aqui, falando sobre como falar inglês com confiança. Yeah, so I do this introduction in English and people are getting here and say, hey, how's it going, etc. Aí estamos aqui com Thiago Vilas Boas, Fernando Nascimento. E aí, pessoal, tudo bem? Como é que vocês estão? Jefferson Anderson Araújo, Exterminador do Futuro, Eduardo Silva. E aí, pessoal? Adilson Farias. Hello, hello. Como é que vocês estão? Tudo bem? Hoje o papo vai ser uma parte em português e uma parte em inglês. Então, tem gente que fica reclamando. Paulo, você tem que fazer vídeos 100% em inglês e tal. E Então, essa é uma boa oportunidade da gente praticar aí, praticar o listening. Deixa eu ajeitar aqui. Praticar o listening, né? E realmente conseguir aí melhorar o inglês. Né? Good evening. E aí? Wendy. E aí, pessoal, tudo bem? Aqui é o Paulo Nidek, Thiago, ao vivo aqui no Japão, em Tóquio. Que horas são aqui? Aqui são 8h29 da manhã. So now it's 8h30 here in Japan. And it's 8h30 p.m. in Brazil. Yes. You know? Yeah. So Germany it's eleven thirty? No. One one thirty. One thirty. Yeah. AM PM? AM. AM. AM yeah. Oh wow, that's a long stretch. Yeah. I think so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In in Brazil it's a twelve hour difference. So really? exactly the opposite. Yeah, it's 12 like hours. twelve hours. It's like uh seven hours. Yeah, Germany because here Japan, yeah. Yeah, because here is 8:30 a.m. and um, and in Brazil it's 8:30 p.m. Yes, so it's exactly the opposite. Which is, and then yesterday I talked to people say, hey, we're gonna be live tomorrow and etc. And, and then I, I have to time it so well. I'm so happy I could do this right on time because I, I need to time it so well. I wake up like 6:30 or something. <laughs> I talked yesterday with my friends in Germany, they on a party mid in the midnight and then I'm from breakfast here. So it's also good. Yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? The jet lag and etc. And uh, so you see, Rene, it's like, um, can, can you do a quick introduction for us? O Rene vai se apresentar rapidamente, falar de onde ele é, o que, que ele faz, etc. Em inglês, naturalmente, que ele sabe falar muito bem inglês. So can you tell a little bit about yourself, where are you from, uh, what's your name and what do you do? Hello, my name is René. I'm from Germany, but I live in Switzerland. Work as a chef on the mountains. Nice. Really a little village between between the mountains. It's really nice there. So I love to travel, and then love Tokyo. You you love to travel? Yes. And where have you been? You were you told me about very nice places. Yeah. That you or the last my last holiday on on Thailand, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia. Wow! So the year before I was in Malaysia, China, and then then the year before I was in Australia. Oh, so, yes. no, a different continent. I think so. Yes, and uh, which one, which place did you like most? Mm, Singapore. Singapore. I love the city. Yeah, why? I've been there four times. I've, I've got some friends there. Yeah. Good mix between a big city and the um, exotic feeling, the, the high mountain, the, the high mountain, the high mm -hmm. buildings. So I love, I love. What about the food? Did you like the food? Because you're a chef, yeah, so uh, you probably pay attention to local food, maybe. I I like the uh, Southeast Asian food, so the curries and uh, satay. Oh, I love curry. Satay, so it's really good. Mm -hmm. and the, crab, the crabs, the seafood. Love seafood. Seafood. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I love this like uh, the seaweed. 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 
What is it? Seaweed is the, the thing that you have a lot in Japan here, and then you have a uh, rice, and I think that wraps ah, the rice. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I know what I mean. Yeah. Seaweed. Seaweed, oh. yes. <laughs> That's good. And, and here they, they have a whole thing, and it's really crispy. When you bite mm -hmm. in it, it's like... So no. It's fried. Well? No, it, it is not really fried, but it's thick. And when you chew on it, it's, yeah. it goes like... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. So it's really good. I want to try. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here you go to 7-Eleven, you know, the convenience mm -hmm. store. I, I, I have fun. I just go to 7-Eleven and I see everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's very practical, very convenient. Mm -hmm. It's a convenience store. It's very convenient. Mm -hmm. You just go there and you gra grab your food and it's amazing. Yes. Uh, pessoal que está aí nos assistindo ao vivo, estou aqui ao vivo no Japão, em Tóquio, pode mandar sua pergunta também aqui. E a gente está falando sobre como falar inglês. Eu vou perguntar ao René isso também. Pode mandar pergunta ao vivo aqui para mim ou também para o René. A gente está aqui ao vivo em Tóquio, no Japão. O nosso amigo René, diretamente lá da Suíça. Ele é nasceu na Alemanha, mas mora na Suíça. É verdade que no Japão... Oh, that's an interesting question about cuisine. Is it true that in Japan you have um, bean sweet? And... Bean sweet? Yeah, that's sweet. Sweet? That's made of, out of bean. Yes. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not a good chef, no? <laughs> No. Yeah. We, I think we talk to Japanese people. Yeah. 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 I guess. I, I guess they have a. They ferment the bean and yeah. everything. They put inside the the yes. little rice roll. Yeah. You know. I know what you mean, but I, I'm not, not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Pode mandar sua pergunta aí, pessoal, ao vivo. And Rene, like, uh, why did you decide to be a chef? Do you have anyone in your family like that's a chef or loves no. cooking? I don't know why. I'm finished my school and then I look around and think, oh, chef, yes, why not? I mm -hmm. try it, I like it. It's a chef. Mm -hmm. You like cooking? On the work, yes. On the <laughs> But not home. <laughs> But when you tell people that you're a chef, yes. do they say, oh, yeah, you gotta cook for me, something? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes mm. they ask me, so, but I say, mm, not really. Mm. So only for a nice woman. That's what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. You know, like, uh, but it, it should be really charming. Say, oh, you know what? I, I'm gonna prepare you a little yeah. you know? <laughs> yeah. for dinner. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. But not, not for, for family one time in a year <laughs> on, my, on, on my birthday. <laughs> oh, you cook for your yeah, birthday? On my birthday. One time in a year I cook mm -hmm. for my family. Sometimes for my friends, but not so often. I'm not so but, often but that's not fair. Germany. Like, it is your birthday, you're not supposed to be cooking. Or you like to do it? I like to do it. Okay. So, so my family come to me. Oh, right. Good, good evening, maybe a nice dinner. So, what do you like to cook? For, like, for family and friends? What is a good thing for you to cook? For family? Yeah, for, for family and friends, like on this occasion of your birthday. Oh, my. So, I make uh, a f um, birthday on, um, on May, mm -hmm. so uh, May in Germany is a uh, traditional asparagus Asparagus, time. asparagus yeah. correct. And my parents love asparagus and lamb, so I make lamb. Mm -hmm. Aspar green asparagus. Lamb, oh my god, that's lamb. delicious. Grilled green love asparagus. It. That's sweet. Oh my god, I love yeah, lamb. And potatoes, you're a German, so <laughs> my, dad, my, my dad say, I want potatoes. So, okay, you become potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's up with the potatoes? There is something special to it? No, typical German potatoes cooked with a little butter and herbs. Finished. Wow, that looks, that sounds yeah. awesome. Um, there is one interesting question here. Eduardo Silva asking, how many languages does he speak? Ich, also I, Germany, a little bit English. <laughs> so, um, a little bit French, but not really as awesome. a not really good French. So mm -hmm. my English is a little bit better than mm -hmm. French. Okay, and uh, there's an interesting thing, like because people they are watching us, they are mm -hmm. learning English, mm -hmm. and some of them don't really feel comfortable with their English skills. Mm -hmm. They say they can't speak, but 
they don't feel 100% confident mm -hmm. about it. And you're telling pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But why do you think that's coming from? Because, uh, that, let me ask people here. Você, vocês acham que o inglês dele é ruim? Dá a sua opinião aí sobre o inglês do René. Porque ele falou, eu não fico tão confortável assim falando inglês. Né? Eu acho que o meu inglês não é tão bom e tal. Aí eu falei com ele antes da gente começar. Eu falei, não, vamos fazer inglês. Ele falou, meu Deus, vamos fazer inglês e tal. E, so, so why? Why do you think it comes from? English. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, like, uh, white people don't feel very confident when speaking. Yeah, no, I'm, I can speak for me, I'm, I'm, I'm angry to, to talk English, mm -hmm. to make, um, make mistakes, so that's the problem. So, learning by doing. Mm -hmm. When I'm on holiday, I talk English, and then year, year for year, better. Mm -hmm. That's very yeah. good. And when you go to a different place, yes. Okay. So, you and you go to the hostel. You meet meet some other people from other, other countries in the world. So you, you talk with them. Better than to go in the hotel. Uh, people are saying here. Wow, his English seems pretty good. Hmm. You say? Thank you. Yes, that, that is I good. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. E pessoal, é importante também lembrar que tem gente me perguntando, ah, Paulo, e o seu curso e tal, como é que eu faço para estudar inglês com você? E agora, a gente está aí no link abaixo, você pode achar para comprar o pacote ouro. E você vai ter um pacote, um pacotão enorme de aulas aí, incríveis para você assistir e você realmente levar o seu inglês para o próximo nível. Então, se você quer melhorar o seu inglês, clica no link aqui embaixo e veja porque a gente já, daqui a pouco, já vai fechar. Então, é a última oportunidade de você assistir aulas incríveis de inglês comigo e também com outros amigos professores de inglês. Então, clica no link aqui abaixo e veja que daqui a pouco, em poucos dias, isso vai acabar. And, René, how did you learn English? On school. On school and on holiday. Mm -hmm. So, some of my friends, they uh, watch TV in, on English, so and they, they learn English on TV, but I don't like it, so I'm going on holiday and learn there meet some people so when I go into the hostel you have different people from different uh, countries and on one, one room you talk about the day but and you need to talk yeah yeah sure better, better to go in a hotel in a single room and no no one is there you correct can't, can't speak with anyone you can't learn English so correct correct yeah. that, that's what um, I think it's important for us to remember like a practice you know yeah. you got to practice you got to do it you got to do it you yeah. got to do it. you got to yeah. practice talk 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 yes. you know é por isso pessoal muito importante isso né é praticar in portuguese practice you say praticar yes so it's important praticar 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 você tem que fazer 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 igual eu faço vídeos aqui também no YouTube e tô sempre falando para a câmera e agora falando para a câmera em inglês e falando aqui ao vivo e, e tal então é muito essa questão de praticar é fundamental você praticar o inglês você que está chegando agora aí na transmissão deixa seu like eu quero ver todo mundo deixando o like aqui poxa vale a pena essa transmissão eu tô ao vivo aqui no Japão em Tóquio né falando inglês aqui ao vivo para você poder praticar então uma coisa muito legal deixe seu like aí I'm saying I'm telling hey I give a thumbs up to this transmission, yes, and people were saying, you see, Rene, how nice this is, people were saying, oh, his English is pretty good, yes. Yeah, thank you, I like YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a look, here, uh, Paulo Eduardo de Souza said, of course not, his English is very good, yes, and Anderson Araújo, a, a question for you, what is your opinion, you see, what is the opinion of Rene about the Japanese culture? What is your opinion about Japanese culture? It's a good question. So it's really different to other to other cult uh, cultures in in, South, in West Asia or Southeast Asia. So West, West Asia, no, not West Asia, East Asia. So that's East Asia. I, I got. I'm yeah, terrible yeah, at geography. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this yeah. is East Asia. Yeah, okay, there we go. Pessoal, mande sua pergunta ao vivo. Yes, move on. Japanese culture is different between the culture from Thai, Thai, Thailand or Vietnam or Cambodia or other. So I think. Yeah, what I think. You see, I'm two days here, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I want to say. 
Yeah, you said it's different, like Japanese culture yeah. is different from... Yeah, from the other cultures in, in Asia. So in like, Asia, right? Yeah. And that, and oh, by, all, the, by the way... All, also from, from, from Europe or from... Sure. Or, or, or and, and by the way, you've been to China, right? Yes. So what is the main difference, in your opinion, from China and Japan? Hmm. The main difference, so... Hmm. Chinese people smoke more. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. So, yeah. I don't know what it means. Chinese people smoke more. Ch Chinese people make more photos for me. What do you mean? Well, I'm plum. Yeah. Oh, so Chinese people come to me. Can I make a photo of you? Oh my yes. god, that is interesting. Mm. Also in Thailand. Wow, just like that? Like you're yeah. walking down the street, say, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, you're blonde. I need a picture with you. You looks like Bastian Schweinsteiger. You know the, the German football player. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, yes, I'm blonde, but I don't, don't look like like Bastian Schweinsteiger. So, so, okay, I'll make a photo with you. Tá vendo aí, pessoal, que engraçado? I'm translating uh, to make it even clearer. Tá vendo que engraçado? O René falou que teve lá na China e porque ele é loiro, o, os chineses chegavam pra, pra ele e falavam, pô, tira uma foto comigo, porque não tem loiro na China, né? E and, aí o pessoal chegava no meio da rua e pedia a ele. So, people would hug you and say, oh, take a picture with me, yes. Wow. A foto, foto. A foto, foto. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. How did so you feel? Many, you so felt many. famous. Yeah, film famous, yeah. yeah, it's not good. <laughs> wow. So here in Germany, people, they look, look to me, they look on the floor, so... Japanese people? Yeah. Yes! So, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's, the, that's the, the kind of car, so, of big culture here, so they don't look to the people in the eyes, you know, looking. Apparently they don't, right? Apparently they don't. The, uh, by the way, they, they look away. If, if you look, if yeah, you stare a bit, so, yeah. then they, they look away. They don't like it to look to people in the eyes. Mm. So Here? Yeah. Mm. Just so in Germany, when I you walk around. Look in my eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why not? Yes. <laughs> That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and, and you know what? That's why I came to Japan. Because everything is so different. Yes. You know, like the food is different, the TV. Have, have you watched it? I know no, I, we yeah. can't understand. That's a very good, valid question. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been, there, yeah, we, we don't have when television. I'm, when I'm going to the, another city, I want to try to watch TV. Of course, I, I don't understand the shit, yeah. you know. <laughs> but I'm not just talking about the, the, the video, the images. Yeah. It looks crazy. It looks okay. crazy, you know. Just, um, uh, I was at this bar and then I saw, I, I don't know what was going on. I, and by the way, I have Google Translator that you can point to, mm -hmm. to Japanese mm -hmm. uh, words and it translates a bit. So I was trying to do this with the television, mm -hmm. you know, with the words yes. written, yeah. so I can understand some of it. But uh, it looks crazy. I remember there was this fat dude, this fat fellow, yes. uh, eating ja uh, ice cream. And he looked like, um, like a woman, but I yeah. think it was a man who has a deep voice like this. And uh, so uh, what, I said, well, what in the world is this? You know, and uh, so yeah, but Japanese television, they, they seem to be really good at marketing and television mm -hmm. and selling stuff. Yeah, it is. So uh, I think, as I don't see it on the television, but I think that is. So. Yeah, but it's. I want to try with another city in Japan, I want to try to have a uh, TV. Very good. Okay, there is one question for you here. Uh, Ana Lucia asked, how many languages does he speak? You, you said, you answered that, can you answer it again quickly? German, English, a little bit French. Good, another question. Uh, is, it should be for me, Paulo, have you ever eaten Thiago Village Boy? Have you ever eaten uh, whale meat? I, I mm. never have a whale meat. Have meat. you ever, whale meat? I don't know, but I don't, wa I don't want to try it. That's whales, it's not good. Mm -hmm. words. Yes. Um, okay. What kind? Uh, Eduardo Silva. Eduardo Silva. Question for you. What kind of music do you like, Rene? That's a good question. I like uh, rock and roll, uh, metal music, rock and roll. But sometimes so now more rock and roll. When rock I, and when roll. I, when, I was, when I was young, younger, more metal. Love. I love heavy metal. metal. I love so heavy I love metal. metal. Metallica, or, or, so 
but now it's air. It's chill rock and roll. Uh, in Germany, they have a crazy heavy metal scene, right? Yes. Rammstein. Rammstein, Rammstein is the, like, the, uh, you know, my everywhere. My first concert in, in, in 1999 was Rammstein. Oh, okay. How do you like that? Yeah. I'm with my, with my father there. I mean, oh, you were? Dead, yeah. Maybe so young. Overpax. It's too loud for you. Vocês entenderam isso, pessoal? Ele, ele falou que... How old were you back then? Uh, uh, 13. 13 years. 13? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Entendeu isso aí, pessoal? Que ele, ele falou que ele adora heavy metal e que ele tava lá no show do Rammstein. Ele tinha 13 anos, aí foi com o pai dele, porque ele tinha 13 anos. E aí o, o pai disse, oh my god, oh, this is the loud music for you, boy. <laughs> oh, rapaz, que heavy metal maluco, é isso aí. But I love Rammstein, I think it sounds so... What else from Germany about heavy metal? What? Uh, what else from Germany about heavy metal you have? What, what else from... Yeah, like other bands? Other bands from Germany, yeah. Or around the, the place? Proilers. Hmm. That's so oil, oil, oil punk meets metal. So Tottenhausen. Oh, I know that one. Tottenhausen. That's, 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 that's punk. That's punk, More punk, punk right? Metal, but I like that. I like, I like it also. So yeah. Do you have Bauhaus? Bauhaus. <laughs> it is that's a, a band. band. It is what? Bauhaus. That it's uh, it's, it's kind of architect. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Steel st style. Right. That's, yeah. Oh, oh, you have a Kraftwerk. Kraftwerk. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's electronic. Yeah. That's the first, first electronic music in Germany. So yeah. But that's from the eighties. Early eighties. Yeah. Yeah. Early eighties. Are they popular in Germany? On. Oh, no. Actually, no, no more. So. But they. Uh, New album comes out this year, right here. Oh yeah. And at the end of this year, it comes a new album from Kraftwerk. Yeah. Maybe it's good. Maybe not. And that's how you say in Germany, Kraftwerk. Yeah. Kraftwerk. 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 <laughs> yeah, they're good. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, Anderson Silva is talking about the Simple Mind. Is that a band? Simple Mind. Simple Mind. Yeah. Cristina oh, Meirelles, hello what, what, guys. What should I say? I don't, I don't like it, but... Uh, you know Simple Mind? Yeah, I know Simple Mind, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's rock and roll? I don't know, I haven't heard yeah, of it. Yeah, it's rock and roll. It was in the 90s, so... System of Down is good. Yes. Yeah, 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 you're yeah, talking about System of a Down. System of Down is really good. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah, Eduardo Silva is talking about Season of a Down. La Enio Paz, o que você tá fazendo no toque? Tô fazendo vídeo aqui, trabalhando aqui, dando uma volta, conhecendo. Frasa TV, Rodrigo Filho, é isso aí, pessoal. É, manda sua pergunta aí, ao vivo, aqui a gente tá ao vivo. Aqui o Paulo Nidek, professor de inglês, e René, from Switzerland. From Germany, currently living in Switzerland. By the way, why did you move? I'm Switzerland. Mm. On the... I start, start working on the 1st of July. Start working as of this year. And for four months, and then I come back to Germany for four weeks, and then I go back to. And you really like that? Yes. Okay. And between my holiday in November, I'm going to Bali. Maybe. Bali. Bali yes. Okay. To relax at the beach. Yeah. 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 It should be amazing. Oh, uh, Flavia Teixeira is asking the question. Pessoal, pode mandar sua pergunta ao vivo aí. How long have you been there in Switzerland? In Switzerland? Yeah. Oh, for three years. Three years? Yes. Hmm. And maybe, maybe longer, five, next four or five years. So I, mm -hmm. don't know. I don't know how long. Uh, and your, your parents, they say, oh, you're going to move to Switzerland? Yeah, my, par my, my parents say, go to Switzerland. And go fuck yourself. Don't come back. <laughs> Better to live in Switzerland than as in Germany. So. He said so. Yeah. But honestly, like I said, it is better. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, yeah, in Switzerland, it's a good, good country. They have good money mm -hmm. for me. So. 
Living the through. the currency is good, right? Compared yes. to Germany. Yes, yes, that, that's good. And but uh, in Switzerland, I have much more money as in Germany. So mm -hmm. It's better for for me as a chef to, to work in Switzerland. Is it more expensive than Germany? Yes, that, that, that is. When I'm living in Germany, so I have for, for my apartment 500 euro. Mm -hmm. So the same apartment in Switzerland, 1,000 euro. So. Mm -hmm. uh, Anna I'm, I'm 31. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the question. Anna Luz Oliveira, how old is he? 31. Um, Pablo asking in Portuguese. Let me translate it. Say, oh, why, why were you um, not so comfortable to be alive? Uh, you, you speak such a good English. You're saying you speak such a good English. Yes. I don't know. So my English is not good. It is, it is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, you, you know what? Like, that's the thing, Rene, and that's maybe it's important for for everyone that is watching this, and probably also for you, that when you feel confident about it, it's um, it changes your tone of voice. You know, it changes the way you talk. Like, for example, I can get around in German, but I think uh, I, I said one sentence and say, "Oh, hi, your German sounds fine." Right? Entendeu, pessoal? Eu tô falando, olha, let me get this into Portuguese. O, o cara é alemão, então eu, a gente tava conversando em, em inglês, e aí eu, eu falo alemão, e eu falei uma frase para ele em alemão, uma frase, uma fucking frase. E ele, ele, ele respondeu, falou, nossa, mas você fala bem alemão. Por quê? Porque eu falei com firmeza, confiança. You can understand what I'm saying. And, então, uma frase, falei uma frase em alemão. E ele falou, nossa, você ensina alemão? Olha, isso é um, isso é um elogio, né? É um elogio, né? Vindo de um alemão, falei uma frase em alemão. E ele falou, nossa, você fala bem alemão. So, maybe that is why. Yeah. Uh, because you, you are confident okay. about it. If you tell them English is good. Yeah, no, your English is pretty good. Yes. Um, Eduardo Silva, answer quickly, like, uh, what does he work for? What do, what do you do for a living? I'm a chef. You're a chef. chef. Yeah, because some people, they yeah, arrive yeah. later. No, 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 yeah. <laughs> Flavio Teixeira, is he traveling alone? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do you like traveling alone? Yes. It's easier. Yes. Easy. <laughs> easier. It's German, German English. That is English. a. <laughs> that is an, a fantastic. Easier. No, but it is correct. No, I'm saying uh, uh, it is a perfect definition of it. Yeah. Like it is easier. You know, like a easier. Because, for example, today I'm looking for a new place to stay. I checked on because I like exploring stuff, and then I saw this place that looks so so nice. Yeah. And, uh, and then just yeah, just get my, my stuff here and go there. You so know? most of my friends they they, they have not the time to tra to travel to Correct. Long. So for four or five weeks around the world, they have in Germany. You you can make holiday two two weeks in a row, and then another time of the year, not also two weeks, but not five five weeks in a row. To make holiday though, that's that, that's good for me when I'm working in Switzerland. Switzerland, I've got nine weeks holiday between April and July, and, and also six weeks between October and December. So it's good good to travel. Absolutely. To the world, but alone. Yeah. yeah. But that's not a problem. It is not a problem. It is fine. You know, I like I love traveling alone because you know we gotta have interactions like this one. And you see around, and you can explore the city. I don't mind traveling uh, with, with another person, yeah. but uh, yeah, traveling alone rocks. It's amazing. Yes. Not every time, but the most time. Yeah, uh, Eduardo Silva, uh, have you already traveled to Brazil? Ooh. Yeah, South America. Sometimes I want I want to travel to South South America, but not yet. Next year, next year I want to go to New Zealand, and then maybe South America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah. Okay. E aí, Joel, let me greet people. E aí, Joel. E aí, pessoal, Anderson Silva. Joel, bom te ver por aqui, meu amigo. Eduardo Silva, Cláudia, Sheila, pessoal que tá aí. Jefferson. Jefferson, that's a, an interesting question. Uh, that's kind of weird. Was that? Uh, was there any earthquake already? Here. Here. No. Not today and not yesterday. <laughs> not so far. No. But you know what? It, it may sound weird, but I would love to go through a little. I'm not saying like a fucking... Just <laughs> to see how it goes. An earthquake. An earthquake, yeah. I don't know what about... Have you been through it? No, no. At all? Never in my life, so... 
They say it's. I saw a video on the internet. I should ask those Japanese people. Really, yeah, yeah. So also the, the video. So it's. Whew, so I want to go, want to go out of the street and do that too. Yeah. No, no, but um, uh, I saw this video on the internet yeah. that Japanese people are so used to earthquakes that when it happens, the first thing that they do, they hold stuff. They don't care. So they just hold the, hold the stuff okay. so they don't fall down. I'm not. I go out. Yes, of course. <laughs> I would save my life because I'm going to die or something. But no, I saw this video in the supermarket and when the earthquake comes, no. they just hold the shelves and everything and say, oh, no, so stop for falling. They're so used to it. <laughs> yeah. Crazy, right? Um, uh, uh, interesting question. Is it easy for German people to learn English? Yes. It is. It is, isn't it? But it's not easy for English people to learn German. Absolutely. Yeah. It's not easy for all people to learn German. Uh, so, um, I don't know why they, 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 German is a hard language. You you always get this, right? People say, "Oh, German is hard." Yeah, yeah. yeah it, uh, I think it's hard compared to other languages. But if you come from English, or yeah, but it's easier to, to, to when you are from France, when you're French, it's to learn Italian or Spain or Portu Portuguese. So it's a R Romanic um, language. So it's easier for for them to learn this, this, this other language. But German is only German. So it's, it's not, not English. It's not French. It's German. Uh, interesting question from Rafael. What is the difference between the German spoken in your country and the German spoken in Switzerland? Yes, it's, it's a big difference. So, but what should I say? So, hmm. What's the difference? Yeah, that, it's a difference. And so I, I'm working in the south of, of Switzerland, so the, it's a mix between German and, and French. So, but more German, so they, they, they don't say hello, they say salut. Oh, yeah. So, oh, wow. You know. Interesting. In German, in German, salut, German. wie geht's? Yeah. That's how it goes. Salut, so yeah. so good. Yeah, but in Switzerland, they, they mix a bit. Like yeah, yeah but these are, uh, they, or, yes. <laughs> they say Sally or Halle. Oh, wow. Um, and People in French say only Sully. Yes. In German, ha only hello. So they say Mix. sometimes mm -hmm. hallo. Hallo. Okay. Oh, hallo. wow. Interesting. But they, they never, they would or never. When, um, you say in German, you ask the guests in the restaurant um, like, how you like your food. So, mm -hmm. so is, 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 is es gut ge gewesen or hat es geschmeckt? In Switzerland, you say, ist gut gewesen? So it's a bit, little bit different. So. Sounds like a dialect or yes. something. Um, do, do you, where are you from Germany again? I'm the east side from Germany, uh, south of Berlin, 100 kilometers in the south of Berlin. Okay. Uh, do you speak any dialect? Yes. From there? Saxony dialect. Mm -hmm. So, but not yet. Okay. No, yeah. Now I talk normal German. <laughs> when I talk to, to other, German, dad, other for Germans example. here, I talk normal German. But when I travel with my friends in, in, in my hometown, I talk Saxony. Mm -hmm. Nice, yes. nice. Yeah, I had a friend of mine, I think he was from Stuttgart, yes. and he spoke a Swedish. Yes. yes. Not good language, not good dialect. <laughs> <laughs> but can you understand it? It's a little bit tricky sometimes, so mm -hmm. Swedish. Yeah. It's, you know, it's sh 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 yeah. Okay. That's sh Swedish is uh, like a kind of speech to each. Mm -hmm. so sometimes, some words are the same. Uhum. E aí, Vini? E aí, Leila? Tudo bem? E aí, Flávia? Tudo bem? Wellington? E aí, pessoal? Tudo bem? Deixe seu like aí, você que está curtindo a live. Daqui a pouco a gente já está encerrando a live. Lembrando também que aqui embaixo tem o um link para você adquirir e comprar o seu pacote ouro. E aí a gente está indo no final, hein? Falta poucos dias para você ter essa oportunidade incrível de realmente levar o seu inglês para o próximo nível e melhorar muito. Então, clique no link da descrição aqui e veja todas as informações sobre o pacote ouro. E, e inglês é importante por isso, né, pessoal? Imagina, se eu não falasse inglês, eu nem estaria 
aqui no Japão, nem estaria tendo essa conversa aqui com o René. Então, assim, é, é tão legal você falar inglês por isso, né? Então, não perca essa oportunidade, que são os últimos dias para você comprar o pacote de ouro e você realmente ter aulas incríveis. Eu fiz um conteúdo exclusivo para o pacote de ouro. Então, você tem aí a oportunidade de ver aulas incríveis. Então, acessa o link aqui embaixo por tempo limitado. Rogério Lustosa, boa noite, meu amigo. Como é que você está? É, Joel da Silva. Oh, Joel, this is so fine. I love this. Like, Joel spoke no English, yeah. you know? And he's my student. Okay. Now he can speak English. Okay. So I love it. You see, I arrived right now. Yeah. I don't know uh, where he's from. I'm from Germany, but I live in Switzerland. Nice. Marli Soares. Hello, teacher. Hello, Marli. Hello. Yes, very good. Okay. Sometimes, yes. So you have some English words are the same in German. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. So exactly the same. Sauerkraut. You know sauerkraut? It's a... Uh, sauerkraut is a for kind, of, kind of cabbage, white okay. cabbage, but not sweet. Okay, Sauer, yeah. Sauerkraut is typical German. Sausage, sauerkraut, potatoes. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> I f I feel like going to Switzerland and eating at your restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. What what kind of food do you have there? It it will be lovely. In Switzerland. Yeah, at uh, the restaurant you work at. Uh, the restaurant. Where yes. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. Between uh, German, Switzer, and Italian cuisine. Cuisine. Okay. What is the number one dish people order in there? In Swiss. In Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Number one dish. Yeah, kind of. Uh, uh, Roasty, called roasty. That's roasty. Uh, roasty, yeah. Potato roasty. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. wow. Hmm. Yeah. Do you have pictures of it or some oh, of it? I don't know. Vamos perguntar se ele tem foto lá do restaurante que ele trabalha. Ele falou que o, o prato que mais sai lá é a batata roasty. So, yeah, in français they say oh, roasty, la patata roasty. Uh, in Brazil we say the batata roasty. I think it's, I don't know from my from my hotel. Pictures of beer. <laughs> <laughs> From beer, mushrooms. Uh, okay, uh, wh where? What, what, what beer is this? Like German beer? No, that, that's uh, beer in, in, in Switzerland. What is beer? What is here? Let me guess this one first. Oh, beer okay. Beer is here. Switzer beer. Mm -hmm. Really good. Oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh, do, what do you like? Uh, what do you like most? Like uh, German beer or German beer? So, okay. <laughs> Best beer in the, the whole world. Yes. Yeah. Which one is your favorite beer? Which one? Oh, that's from, from from my home from my hometown. Let's walk across the top. That's a little uh, a village in the near of my town. So let's walk across the top. Oh my God! Never have this. No, mm. that's not. That's not Bex or uh, Warstein or uh, not not a big. Not a, not a big brewery, mm -hmm. so a small one, but it's really good. And also the the Bavarian beers, I like it. So Barbarian beers. Bavarian. It's, so you, when you come to Tokyo, Oktoberfest, mm. they all have all all the biggest Bavarian breweries. Barbarian. Ba Bavarian. Ba Bavarian. Oh, Bavarian. Bavarian. Correct. Bavarian. Sure. Yes. Oh, yes. You know, it's alright. Bavarian. Yeah. Bayerisch. Bayerisch. Yeah. Bayerisch. Yeah. Bayerisch. Yeah. Yes. German is really good. Oh, thank you very much. You see? Esse é o tipo de, de, de... Esse é o tipo de elogio que eu gosto, viu? O alemão falando que o meu alemão é muito bom. Né? Que ele falou assim, de, da Bavária, eu falei em alemão. E é Bayerisch. Bayerisch. Yes. I know Bayerisch because you have like um, the BMW. BMW. Yeah. Yeah. Yes? BMW, yes. BMW is from... From, from Munich, yes. Bayerisch. Yeah. Yes, and it says like a, it's a Bayerisch Motorenwerk. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. Bayerisch Motorenwerk. Yeah. yeah. Motorenwerk. And and then I I remember yes, it's from there. Oh, what, but yeah. By the way, what about German cars? You know. German cars. Yeah. Like like they're the number one in the world. Yeah. Yes, it is. But here in Japan, you don't see any German cars. Only Mercedes and BMW. Hmm. BMW, Interesting. Not, not, not Volkswagen. Not. Opal or, or sometimes. 
That's a very interesting take. Yeah. Also, good uh, good cars here in Japan. Right? Yeah, yeah, like uh, Toyota and uh, but they're Japanese cars. Good cars. Yeah, th yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, like uh, compared to Mercedes and yeah. BMW and Porsche. Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say Porsche in German? Porsche. Porsche. Oh, Porsche. Okay. Porsche. I, I I was listening to this uh, radio in English and American English. Let's say Porsche. because in in America people say Porsche, Porsche, Porsche and yeah. in German it's Porsche. Yeah. Porsche, yes, good. So yeah, and do you like German cars? Do you like cars? Yes, of or? course. Mm. I, I was impressed. I don't, currently, I don't have a car. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't need it though. But my friends, they for, they have Mercedes, and Volkswagen, so an Audi, also good. From Germany. Yes. Oh my God, it's impressive, isn't it? Like a BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Porsche, they're all from Germany. Yeah. Wow. You, you guys really know how to do a car. <laughs> yeah. And is it true that people in Germany are crazy about cars? Like, no, not really. No? Not crazy. Yeah. I myself, uh, let me tell you my perspective. I was really impressed that I've been to Dusseldorf. Mm -hmm. and, um, and there, all the taxi cabs, uh, BMW or Mercedes. Yes, that, uh, also over, over in Germany. All over only, Germany. Also, only Mercedes. Most, most of the taxi cabs are Mercedes. Uhum. Uau, eu tô falando para ele aqui que eu tive lá em Düsseldorf, eu tive na Alemanha, dando uma volta por lá, e eu vi que os, os táxis lá, todos eles são ou BMW ou Mercedes. E ele falou que não, na Alemanha inteira é sempre assim, todo táxi ou é Mercedes ou é BMW. Ok. What kind of food do you like to do? Do you like to make? Yes, of course, in German, German style and... Uh, Italian style food, is European crossover. Uh, Jefferson is asking, is it true that Germany has the best beer in the yeah. world? <laughs> yes. uh, I'm also of this. No, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I kind of yeah, told you yeah, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. you, to you told me that, but yeah. over the world, yeah, it's Oktoberfest. Uh, yeah, oh, you see a question in German. Take a look. <laughs> Good night, Paolo. Yeah. What are you doing what here? I do here? I'm here for holiday for three weeks. Good. And uh, for but are you on current holiday? Like, uh, is is the year holiday yours? You said like you are away from work for two weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what do you mean? No, uh, because uh, this is your holiday, right? Yes. One time during the year. No, two times. Two times. Yes. Mm -hmm. Between the seasons, I've got on Switzerland for, for the for the winter season. They come from December to April, and I've holiday for nine weeks. Holiday, so I'm going to my hometown, and sometimes with my friends, and going to Japan now. Then I go back in Switzerland, and then in November I've got for six weeks holiday. And yeah, mm -hmm. same. Very good. So you have two times of the year, uh, like for yes. what, two weeks and three weeks? Yeah, when I'm working in Germany, I have, I have only two, two weeks or three weeks. But when I work in Switzerland, I have nine weeks and six weeks. Wow, so that's I awesome, isn't yes. it? Yes. Wow. Entendeu, pessoal? Ele, ele falou que na Suíça ele tem é, férias duas vezes por ano. Uma vez é four weeks? Yes. Four and five weeks. No. Oh, sorry. Nine? Nine, nine and six? E 9 e 6. Então você tem duas férias na Suíça, que é 9 semanas e 6 semanas. Wow, that's a lot. That's very good. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot compared to America or something. That's a lot. Because you, you know that in America you have two weeks, a year, a lot of times. A year. For, for, for you to not get crazy and kill people. <laughs> so you can unwind a bit. Yes. Okay. That's what I think, yes. Ok, pessoal, é, a gente já está chegando aqui ao final da transmissão. Pode deixar sua pergunta também, que a gente responde aqui ao vivo. E também lembrando que a gente está falando inglês aqui e praticando inglês ao vivo. Você praticando listening e vendo aqui a gente falando e tal. Estou aqui ao vivo em Tóquio, no Japão, com meu amigo René, diretamente lá da Alemanha. E, e também é muito importante lembrar que a gente está na reta final aí. Então, falta pouco tempo 
para você ter a última oportunidade de adquirir o pacote ouro, que o link está aqui embaixo. Então não perca a oportunidade. Se você quer falar bem inglês, como a gente está falando aqui, se comunicando, poder viajar, enfim, você falar inglês só abre o que? Milhares de portas, né? milhares de possibilidades. Yeah, uh, they're saying Mercedes, yes, wow. Okay, uh, one, one question. What about um, uh, German girls? How do you like girls? Yeah, German girls. The, the girls in Germany. I see some women, German girls, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're good. Yes. But I don't have a German girl. You don't, you don't have girl. a German girlfriend? No. Currently, no. no. I'm alone here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, oh, yeah. What did I say? But, but yeah, like the girls in those different countries that you've been, what, how do you like that? Well, which one like you like most, like good looking and... From Italy, girls are good looking from Spain. Oh, Spain. Yeah. The legals, you said? The first place, you said? Italian? Italian. Yeah. Oh, Italian, yes. So charming, charming. Yes. Black hair. Yes, very good. Ok. Ok, pessoal, muito obrigado aí. Let me wrap it up. Let me wrap it up. Muito obrigado aí é, por ter assistido a nossa transmissão aqui ao vivo no Japão, em Tóquio. Deixa eu mostrar lá fora. Let me show them the streets. Olha lá fora como é que tá aqui. Tá um dia muito bonito hoje aqui no Japão, em Tóquio. Olha o pessoal andando lá fora e tal. Tá um belo dia. Olha o carro parou bem aqui. Tá um belo dia aqui em Japão, no Tóquio. Ontem choveu um pouco. Aqui é uma rua bem tranquila. E, e é isso aí. A gente tá chegando... Olha lá, tudo escrito em japonês e tal. Pra mim, eu acho sempre interessante só de ver. Jefferson, os japoneses são sociais ou eles são mais na deles? Como muitos... É, são mais na deles, né? São mais, pelo que eu observei. Você tem que ter um pouco de intimidade, assim, pra... Pra... Pro o japonês se soltar e tal. Pessoal, muito obrigado por quem está assistindo aí. Não perca a oportunidade de aprender inglês também comigo, com as minhas aulas e com aulas incríveis. Acesse o link aqui embaixo por tempo limitadíssimo. Muito obrigado por assistir. Uh, René, so I'll say bye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, YouTube. Yes, thank you very much for doing this. It's been a lovely conversation. And yeah, thanks for watching. Yes, muito obrigado por assistir. Meu nome é Paulo Nidek. Aqui ao vivo, no Japão, em Tóquio, com meu amigo René, from Germany. Muito obrigado por assistir, meu nome é Paulo Nidek e até a próxima.